Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today we are in Zurich and I'm here with Srayanta from Novartis. Hi Srayanta. Hi Simone, thanks for having me. Srayanta, can you tell us about Novartis? Right, Novartis is one of the largest pharma companies in the world. And as a big pharma, we run a complex operation, starting from uh, research and development, going into manufacturing and finally commercialization of our drugs. That in a nutshell is Novartis. Interesting. And as one of the biggest pharma companies, I guess you have a lot of projects going on. So which project will you tell us about today? So I'll be talking about Buying Engine. Now Buying Engine is an internally built portal, a shopping portal, Amazon-like for our associates, for making all the procurements for the laboratory supplies, both in our factories, as well as in our R&D labs. Interesting. So let's have a look at the architecture. Sure. It starts off with S3, where all our vendor catalogs are stored. Uh, this is an unstructured format. Mm -hmm. Once in S3, because it is unstructured, we use machine learning pipelines using SageMaker, which are then controlled by step functions to convert this unstructured text into more of a structured format. And then the step functions convert it to, and store that step uh, structured data into DynamoDB. I see. Got it. And can you tell us a bit more about what happens around the SageMaker when you convert this data? Sure. So what we have over there in SageMaker, again controlled by Lambdas all the all way, are custom built NER pipelines, mm -hmm. specifically built for our data, which converts this into more of an attribute like data that we see normally in shopping portals. Wow, really cool. Um, and once you have the data in DynamoDB, I also see you have other databases here. How do you use them for? Right, so it's a shopping portal, like I said, right? So a shopping portal needs to have search engines and recommendation pipelines, and that's why we have this. So DynamoDB, uh, connects seamlessly into Elasticsearch, controlled again by lambdas. And it also simultaneously converts it into triplets, which is then used to store it in Neptune as a knowledge graph. Got it. And how do you trigger the lambda here to move the data between those databases? Right, the triggering is done by DynamoDB streams, which converts this and, and control the search and recommendation pipelines. Very good. So. I'm just wondering now, how can you connect the final users to the data that you have here? Right, so we have a custom built UI, Amazon-like, but built for our purpose, which connects to this underlying data using an API gateway, once again controlled by lambdas, all through. This fetches uh, the data from DynamoDB. Once you, uh, once you come into the shopping portal or once a user comes into the shopping portal, he can either browse all the products that are there in DynamoDB or fire a search, a free text search, right? Uh, and that is what the search pipeline goes into effect. Once you are on to a particular product page, he or she can view all the attributes uh, for that particular product. And also below there, there's a panel where all the recommendations are, you know, typical Amazon like similar products and complementary products. Uh, which are the recommendations uh, which are controlled using the Neptune, DynamoDB, and Elasticsearch combination. That's cool. So I'm very interested in the recommendation part here. Um, I'm just wondering, can you use uh, the data from user navigation throughout the pages to keep those uh, up, um, recommendations up to date or even to improve them over time? Absolutely, and that's a great question, right? So what we do when the UI, when the users come in, the anonymized user data is captured using Kinesis Firebus, mm -hmm. uh, which again flows into the lambdas and back into Neptune and the DynamoDB stream, DynamoDB pipelines. And this data is stored and updated with every user uh, interaction. And this is then uh, used to enhance all our search and recommendation pipelines to understand the user preferences. Wow, fantastic. Thanks a lot, Srayanta, for sharing your architecture with us today. It was a pleasure. And thanks for watching, this is my architecture.